Welcome to Diane Andrews in black and white. Thanks for watching us in our 3 million television homes, whether you're watching us on YouTube or Rumble, or whether you're watching us on our social media, you'll see our handles on your screen. We appreciate you watching, and as people who keep up with Diane Andrews in black and white know, last year I did 20 some shows on COVID. That was the most. I never stopped in studio because we wanted to get here and let you all know what's really going on with the disease, whether we were talking to virologists, epidemiologists, uh, nutritionists, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, judges on telecourts, uh, and on teleeducation, what's going on in telemedicine. We did it all. And financially, what are some of the things that are happening to this economy now but because of the guise of COVID? We talked about that. And Sad to say, a lot of it has come true. But um, we're starting a series that one of the cameramen gave me the name for, and we call it Bouncing Back from COVID. Because COVID is really the number, in COVID, the number one comorbidity is obesity. That kills people. Um, America has 587,000 deaths, the largest in the world, and we are known to be an overweight country. The next largest amount of deaths is Brazil. Now, India is number three. India has 1.4 billion people. India and China make up 40% of the world. And uh, we, we're 330 million, and Brazil is about 210 million. So you see the economies of scale here. And, uh, hey, and that's a pun, economies of scale. Maybe we all need to get on our scales. So come on back to Diane Andrews. As you know, the, the I hosted, and Patrick from Iron on Iron, the owner of that. Jim is going to talk about the results he had from the last exercise show we did, and we're going to talk about a few other things concerning exercise and maybe show people how to stretch. So come on back to Diane Andrews in Black and White. Welcome back to Diane Andrews in Black and White. And you see the co-host has decided to join me for a lap seat uh, a little bit on this Iron on Iron show with Patrick, as you remember him before, the owner of Iron on Iron. We did a show together about a month ago, and we're talking about bouncing back from COVID. And obesity, as I said in the intro, is the number one problem or comorbidity that has led to death in the United States of America at the 587,000 people who have died. Most have been over 70 with comorbidities. And obesity is the number one comorbidity cause of death. And so that's why we started this show. I wanted to show people how to get back and bounce back and get on those scales and, and see how much you can lose in a period of time or firm up. Now, Patrick, when you're getting firming up, a lot of times you create muscle which is heavier than fat. Right. So right. people, if they're exercising, shouldn't be alarmed if they gain a few. How long does that last? Gaining for strength-wise muscles. You gain I mean, weight on the scales. Uh, for it's gaining weight on the scales, I mean, it all depends on how you work out. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you want to try to lose weight. You know, that's the most important thing to stay healthy. What about losing inches, though, too, you know? Oh, okay, the, the inches, that's the first thing that leaves when you go to working out. It's not for us with the scale, it's the inches that goes first, mm -hmm. then the scale for you go to drop in weight first. Oh, okay. Now, we did that show about a month ago, and just to tell people who may be interested in advertising on Diane Andrews and Black, I couldn't believe every time I saw you. How many calls did you get from that one show we did over a month ago? Uh, I got at least eight to ten calls um, after the last show. I thought like for like you got about you were getting like that many the first two weeks, weren't you? Like a right, day? Right, that's right. I mean you must have gotten about fifty calls yes, or more. Yes. All yes, the way from New Orleans, show. you told me yeah, every time I right. talked to you. And you, you ended up getting ten new customers at the gym, right? That's right, that's right. I got ten new clients. 
I couldn't that's believe right. it. I said, at least somebody making money off Diane Andrews and Black Oil. That's not me. And that's good, though. That's wonderful. And if you and and, and if you continue now, let's say after this show, if you get more customers, what do you have slots left? Because yours is personal training, so you're working with people. Right, right. For as my personal training now, I have so many clients now. I have to put people with other clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'd be like so you have groups. Two, yeah, uh -huh. right. And right. that came just as a result of one show on Diane Andrews and Black and Yes, ma'am. That That's shows right. you how big we are. And then, of course, you used your social media and put it on, too. Yes. And we put it on ours, too. But uh, that is amazing that that many. I couldn't believe it because you're the first time I've done this, uh, you know, to, to work with someone to um, and, and, you know, do shows with them. And we work on different things together. And, and to get that kind of response, that, that was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was really it was. amazing. So, um so I think, now we've been working together now probably about six, eight weeks, I would think now, you and I. That's right. And I have seen my waist is, is smaller, and I exercise with Iron on Iron twice a week. And we do about 45, 50 minutes. Yes, that's right. And as I said in the last show, I didn't know, I'd never had a physical trainer, personal trainer before, and I see why people do it. Because they keep you on the straight and narrow. They know what they're doing, and like I said last time, they're experts, and they're always cheering you. Yeah, great job, yes, great yes, job, great job. Right. Even though you probably get sick of seeing what you're doing, he still tells you, "Great job." But I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty. Oh, and I had that frozen shoulder, remember? And it's gone. But I told, I take magnesium. Yes. Magnesium is supposed to get uh, a, a loosen up muscles. It takes one. Is it lactic acid or something? It takes out of the muscles. And Steve, uh, when the cameraman looked it up for me. And what it does is uh, helps the muscles after they uh, to relax. I knew that was it, yeah. that's what it was doing, and I've been taking it every day for about three weeks, and it is a tremendous difference. And it was from here to here stiff. You could feel the hard uh, knot yeah. on my shoulder. It was terrible. It's still it's about ninety five percent back now, but it was it was a long long. I couldn't hardly lift. Any weights on this left side, but I keep on trying. Oh yeah, That's I keep right. on trying. That's I get that little three pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when Patrick tells me we do fifty, what do I do, Patrick? <laughs> yeah, sixty more. Yeah, I want to do sixty. <laughs> I want to got to do a few more. Like they say, always eat, eat a little, leave a little something at your dinner table. Don't always eat all the food, right? Haven't you heard that? If you're trying to lose weight, don't be a pig and eat it all. Leave something on the plate, but I don't believe in that because too many people starving. But uh, I, if you tell me 15, I think I should do well up. Let me just do 16 yeah. <laughs> so if I can. Uh, but yeah, Patrick is excellent in what he does. And have you kept all 10 of the people that that started with you that came from the show? Yeah, at least um, at least eight. Eight, eight people. Still there. Yes, still wow. There. That's right. And they've That's been coming right. for over a month now. That's right. That's right. That's amazing. Well, I told you to see if you could bring that. You've got a, a lady who is a handicapped, a blind lady, right? Yes. That yes. comes. Yes. That's, That's amazing. Right. Yeah. Tell me her story. Uh, uh, she just wants. She wanted to work out to start back um, moving, you know, because she said she had been stiff, haven't been doing anything, and at is the she same overweight time. now? Uh no, she didn't lost weight now. From with she you. How weight. long has she right. been with you? Because she uh, wasn't from from. She's been show. with me like four months now. Yeah, she wasn't from the show, of course. Right. Right. Um, uh, and she's part of the How did she hear blind. about you? Uh, she, well, she's a member of the gym. Oh, of uh, Spectrum, because yeah, he's right. in Spectrum, yeah. right. Um, and she saw me working out. Um, she heard people talking about me. At the same time, she wanted a trainer. Mm -hmm. So that's when she got in contact with me. And this is a blind. This says a lot about people, doesn't it? This is a blind lady yeah. who wanted to get up, come to the gym, and exercise and lose weight. And I'm not being nasty, but in reality, she can't even see. That's what right. she's lost. That's right. That is an amazing yeah. story. That's an amazing woman. Yes. She's got yes. a lot of courage to, right. to do oh, yeah. that and a lot of yeah. determination. She oh, a middle aged yeah. lady? Yeah. Yeah. Is and she a professional lady or does she work or she work. Uh -huh. She work. I think yeah. she's work at a school. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. She she I, I, I've known some people who, who worked and you know the key I guess to life is no matter what life deals you is to try to turn lemons into lemonade. These are cliches, but you know, I, you have to commend people like that. Uh, Some yeah, of the people that right. come back from the war, we all see these commercials of guys, I mean, no, no legs and no one arm gone. How do you go yeah. on? Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I just don't know how they do it. Yeah. And, and with strong. a positive attitude, they're very, very strong.
That's I right. hope I could be that strong. I hope I never have to challenge, be challenged with that. Yeah. But that says a lot about a person, uh, that they can keep smiling through all That's adversity. Right. That's right. And, and she's, she don't want no one to help her. Mm -hmm. She want to do everything for herself. She, she'll tell you, don't help me. Has she been blind since birth, or did it happen after she was grown? I think it happened after she was grown. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she knows what things look like then. Right. That's right. Yeah, I was telling That's you, right. try to bring her on with you one day. I'd love to just to meet her because she's an interesting woman. Yeah, that's right. So uh, do most of your clients come in overweight uh, to yeah, obesity? Most of them, is that problem? Yeah, most of them come in overweight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they end up, uh, most come two or three times a week. Yeah, you? at least at least three times a week. I only do two. <laughs> <laughs> I need three. Uh. <laughs> but I, I, I can tell that I firmed up some of my arms. I still don't have any muscles. I just don't have any muscles in my arms. But uh, Patrick has been trying. And my thighs are tighter, definitely. I can tell that they're tighter and I've lost some weight in my, uh, some inches. I haven't measured it, but I can tell the way clothes fit right. that I've That's lost right. some inches in That's my right. waist and stuff. So it's definitely worth it. Yes. Um, so Patrick, uh, we talked about meals last time. What would you tell someone who's gotten fat from pandemic food? That's probably what happened, which a lot of people did. You know, sitting couch potatoes. People have gotten really, you know, people don't want to go back to work. It's amazing just to get out of the house, and a lot of it has to do with stimulus money they're getting from the government, mm. and people have lived off it a year, and then they're continued until September, and you look around, and they're 20 pounds overweight, and, they're, and people are telling, hey, I don't have to go back to work because I'm making as much as I did at work just sitting at home, <laughs> and I don't have to lift a finger, but I guess, now that's not me. I got to be doing something yeah. and doing something productive in right. your life. And maybe they're starting other businesses and stuff, but they need to get off the couch maybe if they're getting fat. If you're not getting fat, I guess it's more power to you. But uh, if you're just sitting there, well, you couldn't watch sports. What were they, I guess they were just watching Netflix. That's why the, the top um, companies in, in the world, mostly America, like Jeff Bezos with Amazon and uh, Netflix and Zoom and um, Mark Zuckerberg, Google, yeah. Twitter with... Um, uh, what's his name from Twitter? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, they made $435 billion. Wow. Billion. Half a trillion almost in two months. So do you really wow. think they wanted us opened up? Let's be real. You know, I'm a, I'm a COVID expert. I've, well, kind of. I've written, done 20 shows on COVID. I know COVID like the back of my hand. And I've written a book on COVID. Yeah. So talking about Operation Warp Speed, because 800 million doses were... Uh, bought by to six pharmaceutical companies from the Donald Trump administration. Like him, I love him, or hate him. It doesn't matter. The truth yeah. has because thousands of people worked on Operation Warp Speed, and that's the fastest vaccine in human history that is going to save the world. Along with the Chinese va vaccine, they have one, and Russia has a vaccine. Yes. Uh, and those are the most prevalent in the world right now. But uh, Pfizer, Moderna, J and J, AstraZeneca is one we bought. Him. He bought about a million. And, doses from each one. There's another one coming out called Novamax and then Sinopharm I are the six. They're in my book that I finished in October. So unless yeah. I'm a psychic, I don't know how I knew <laughs> what, what vaccines and how many they were going to get from the government. So, you know, the job has to be given tremendous, tremendous respect from no matter who did that job. They deserve what they deserve and all the people that worked on Operation Warp Speed, including, I guess, Dr. Fauci, even though you said wear a mask, don't wear a mask yeah. the other day now, which gives people an incentive to uh, wear, to, to go get your vaccine is you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Because, you know, several couple of days, some people are saying like less, I just interviewed Dr. Gurney, she said 28 days, but some of the vaccines literature said up to like 14 days uh, after you take it that you have your immunity. And it's supposed to be zero percent deaths and zero percent hospitalizations, even if by chance, because the efficacy for most of them is between 90 and 97 percent. If you get sick, it's supposed to be, you know, yeah. like a cold, which a right. coronavirus is a cold. Yeah. It's the same virus as the coronavirus. SARS-CoV-2 is a coronavirus. Yeah. A cold is a coronavirus. Okay, I didn't ask him, like, what kind of, uh, what would he tell people that's been on the pandemic weight? Well, what you want to do, you want to at least start, to start working out. At the same time, the most important thing is to start eating healthy. Mm hmm yeah, we don't want to eat these this chicken and fried chicken and fried food all the time. 
We have to um, start eating healthy. That's the most important thing. Now, what I read uh, and what I've heard some other physical trainers say is, but never deprive yourself of everything you like. If you right. take maybe once or twice a week and you love fried chicken, it's okay, right? It's right, long. right, right. Yeah. I, tell, I tell everyone, you at least want to eat, just have one day of a cheat day. A cheat day. Cheat day. <laughs> cheat day, one, one day a week. It's like cheat a day. pass day when a wife gives her husband a pass. <laughs> Anybody ever <laughs> see a hall pass? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, just, you, want, you want at least one day cheat day. Uh -huh. One day a week. That's what you want, you know, and the rest of the days you want to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Try to anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah, most important. So as a whole, the people that, that have come to you recently the last month, a couple of months, have they lost the weight they wanted to get to at this point? Oh, yeah, I mean, they getting there. I uh -huh. mean, they still are losing, but, I mean, they getting there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a, um, you have to take your time, be patient. Yeah. It don't happen overnight. Doesn't take long to gain it. Like when I eat oh, Hagen Dazs yeah. ice cream, look like I can see it the next day right here with some dimples on my thigh. Oh, uh, yeah. It don't, <laughs> it don't take long. Don't take long to gain it. So, um, if you, what would be an ideal um, client of yours? You know, they come in weighing a, a woman, weighing 200, and then she loses weight and she transforms herself. What makes, what makes, Patrick want to do this? What What is in it for you? When you see someone that you've made better, is that mm -hmm. like a woman who weighed 200 and then she looks at herself and, and, and you know, six months later she's 150, is that, and then she's 120, you know, like you yeah. see in the Nutrisystems and everything on, yeah. on TV. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it's the, it's the love that you have to have for it, you know, I mean, that's, that's what I have for it. Mm -hmm. I have the love for exercising and helping people. Mm -hmm. That's most important. You want to be able to help people, you know, to um, meet their goals, mm -hmm. most important. Do you find, do you have to sell it? Do you find like a lot of people who don't believe in physical fitness and, and having a personal trainer when you're talking to people? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people that don't believe in training, especially males. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, don't, they don't like uh, for another man to tell them what to do. Really? Even yeah. and are you? Is there a difference in black, white, or uh, it don't, just it don't male? Make a period. Just, just men don't periods. want. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't like for another male to tell them what to do for his exercise. Hmm. That's what they That's don't far, like. That. As far as a lot of things, I can tell you, right? Men don't like <laughs> for you to tell them what to do. Yeah, hmm. yeah. They yeah. know it all. Are you like that, Patrick? If somebody was trying to tell you something that they knew better than you? <laughs> no, I, I, I was, but I'm, I'm not. You used I'm to be. Not. Yeah, yeah, I was. What like changed that. you? Uh, because, I mean, I, I, my heart was into it at the same time. It was a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Because um, when I started training for it, me just working out, not being a trainer, I always liked to power lift. And as time grown, power lifting, it hurt. It, it go to hurt after a while mm -hmm. for us bone wise, you know. Mm. You go to hurt and at the same time, I didn't know no better. Mm -hmm. You know, so at the same time, I'm going to. I think you told my nephew, Amari, who was over there one day, met you one day, and uh, you told me you lift 500 pounds. Or right. How much do you lift? Right. Yeah, wow. Right, right. Yeah. 595. 595. Let's go and round it up to <laughs> 600 pounds, y'all. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I used to power lift. And after a while of doing that, you know, your body go to aching. Uh -huh. And that's what was going on with me. So at the same time, I have to... What was making it ache? And, and what should you do instead weights. of just power lift? What, what should you um, do? You want, you want to uh, start doing like lighter weight. Yeah. Lighter weight. Uh -huh. Like um, 15, 20 pounds of dumbbells for if, whatever you can lift. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds, 5 pounds, whatever you can lift. You don't want to lift always heavy. Because as time grown, it's going to let you know. Are you messing up your muscles when you do always heavy? Uh, not your muscles, but you're messing up your bones. Oh, the bones. Your bones Even... go to aching. Uh-huh. And that's what was going on with me. Too much weight on. Too much weight. Too much weight. It's just like a, your body is just like a car. Mm-hmm. A lot of, lot, of, lot of people put rims on their car. At the same time, the rims is too heavy for your car. So mm. as time goes on, your car going to go to break it down. You're going to wonder why. You're going to wonder why your car break it down, but that's the rim. Uh -huh. Same thing with your body. Uh -huh. You start lifting all that heavy iron, uh -huh. your body won't let you know. The bones wow. can't take it. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That the bones. Uh, yeah, the bones can't take it. If you I keep do know. Doing I it. had a friend. Uh, she was real heavy, mm -hmm. and her bones. But she had a small frame, and they had told her that she was too much weight on her bones. Yeah. Just the same kind of yeah. thing. Then same I guess. thing. Uh, yeah. 
Same thing. Yeah. Two months wait, your bones go to aching. So how did you find out? Somebody told you? Yeah, somebody told me. First you didn't listen, huh? Yeah, I had to listen. <laughs> and then was it another trainer? It was another trainer. He said, man, you lift, you're lifting too much, too much heavy weight. He said, no, I ain't paying yeah, no attention. I, Who I, are you? I, like, whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, go on. Give me another 500, 600. Hey, hey. I'm trying to get a 700. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but as time gone, my body never stopped aching. Wow. Still, I stayed in pain. So when I did stop, after a while, a couple of months, I was okay. You should have went back to that guy and thanked him yeah. for the advice. Yeah, you should have. Let him know. Right. I took it, man, because I was, yeah. I was in severe, <laughs> severe pain. Yeah. yeah. We're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come on back to Diane Andrews in black and white, and we're going to do some stretch exercises for you. Now sitting down, we're going to do, let's say you're in an office space and you're sitting at your desk and you've got a tight neck or you want to do something just to get the body, get the adrenaline going. And so we're going to do some of those and then we're going to stand up and do some stretches. So what are we doing first, Patrick? Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do some shoulder stretch. I mean, shoulder, shoulder presses. The mm -hmm. first thing we're going to do, we're going to come here. We're going to press straight up. Straight up. We'll do 10 of them. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. Yeah, I always tell you, good job. Now we're gonna come to the front. We're gonna do sh shoulder raises. We'll come here just like this. We're gonna just come up. We usually do these with weights, and it's That's much right. harder. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna do ten, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. That's good. Good job. This, but this, I can feel this right in here. Yeah. This exercise is for your shoulders. You work your shoulders. Okay, our next exercise, we're going to do curls. Just like you have dumbbells in your arm, we're going to do curls. We'll curl here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Good job. We're going to do one more. We'll do one more exercise. What we're going to do, we're going to do side. Lateral raises, this exercise with your shoulders also. Don't come to the side, just gonna come here. Don't come, don't come to the side. We're gonna do 10 reps, okay? Let's just start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. These exercises will get you to move, we don't have to, you don't need no weights. Sit at your desk at home or at work and just do shoulder press, front raise, curls, and side raise. Now, what's that going to help them with? Uh, work, without work weights. Work your arms, work your arms, work your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel it, trust me, without the weights. If you do enough of them, huh? Yeah, you do How enough. How many should they do? At least 12. At least 12 reps. 12 or more. 12 of 10 a piece, so 120 of each. Right. Okay, next day we're going to do some stretches the dogs or something. Mm -hmm. I should come back and should you stretch That's then right. even after stretch. walking I mean, the because, dog? Because you're walking, I mean you're walking the legs, you're working legs. Mm -hmm. So you wanna you wanna come back and stretch. Okay. You know? And we're gonna I'm do bad the stretch. With stretching. We're gonna do all this, we're gonna stretch the whole body. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do shoulder stretch, bring your arm across your back, hold your elbow, and we're gonna hold it for a nine count. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, we're gonna switch on. Same thing, it's a shoulder stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, okay. Next exercise gonna be a tricep stretch. Just like you're trying to scratch your back, grab your elbow and hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, okay, we're gonna switch on. Do the same thing. That's right. Okay, that's right. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we're gonna spread your legs. We're gonna stretch. We're gonna stretch our legs now. What you wanna do? Come to your left. Gonna stretch. My right. 
<laughs> we'll do a nine count. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we'll come to the middle. Do your stretching exercise and stretching, stretching our legs, stretching your hamstring. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go switch legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna lean into it. We're gonna lean into that leg. Just gonna hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go switch legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, back to the other. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Nine count. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we're gonna do quad splits. So we're gonna stretch this muscle here. We're gonna grab your ankle. This is here. We're grabbing and hold it. Uh-huh. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, mm -hmm. three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna do the same thing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do glutes and stretch. Cross your leg. Just hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch legs, we're gonna do the same thing. Glute and stretch, stretch your butt muscle. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Oh yeah, and this is my easy. shoe is indented really on the side. Me. I can't stand right. I've been walking in it so long. You know these how you wear them down? I need to throw these away. <laughs> These exercises will let you know about your balance. Yeah. <laughs> I do better at, at the gym. Yes, yes, yes. It is easy. See, I've worn them oh, down yeah. on the side. Oh, yeah. Let me try it again. Okay. You know, I don't like to not do it. <laughs> Nine, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good yeah, job. I tried to get it. So I wasn't on that side. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. And that's it for our stretching. We stretch the whole body. That's it. Okay, I think you all have learned a lot. So uh, catch us next time for our, our, what was the name we called it? I said balancing on COVID, from COVID? Balance from COVID? Balancing oh, balancing, balancing back from back. COVID. That's right, Steve came up with the name. Balancing, balancing back. back from COVID series. We'll catch you in another month.